Our current champion, Patrick Curran, notched his second win on Friday as a result of finding both of the Daily Doubles in double jeopardy. He was unable to come up with Captain Bly in final jeopardy, if you may recall, but you know what? It didn't matter. He already had a runaway game, and he survives to face 61 more clues today against Kelly and Connor. Good luck, everybody. Here comes the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the categories. First up, Species in Peril. Then we'll find out what their main musical instrument is. We have Runs Hot and Cold. Each response will contain one of those words. Then it's laundry day. So we have whites and colors and delegates. That sort of works. <laughs> Patrick, select for us. Species in peril for six. The tongue of this largest mammal can weigh as much as an elephant. Its heart can weigh as much as a car. Connor. What's a blue whale? Yes, hot and cold for a thousand. Named for a hotel, an iconic open-faced turkey sandwich with Mornay sauce and bacon is called a Kentucky or Louisville this. Patrick. What is a hot brown? Hot brown, yes. Main musical instrument, eight. Bluegrass legend, Allison Kraut. Kelly. What is violin? Yes, or fiddle. Main musical instrument, 600. Lizzo. Kelly. What is the flute? You got it. Main instrument, 400. Flea and the late John and Whistle. Connor. What is the bass? That's right. Uh, musical instrument, 1,000. Weird Al Yankovic. Patrick. What is the accordion? Of course, yes. Hot and cold, eight. Frequently free, it's a place in public where you can connect to Wi-Fi and access the internet. Connor. What's a hot spot? Yes. Hot and cold, six. They were the Daisy Dukes of the mid-1970s and a big fad. Connor. What are hot pants? Hot pants, right. Hot and cold, four. Ectothermic means this, a term describing animals like snakes and fish and some murderers. Connor, what's cold-blooded? That is correct. Hot and cold, too. It ended with the Berlin Wall coming down and the Soviet Union breaking apart. Connor, what's the Cold War? Yes. A species for a thousand. The population of Dicerus bicornis, the black this, has rebounded to more than 5,000, but it's still critically endangered. Connor, what's a rhinoceros? You got it. Species eight? A 2018 survey found more than 1,000 mountain Vs in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, and Uganda. They're increasing, but still in danger. Kelly. What are gorillas? Uh, gorillas, yes. Species for 400. The Fernandina giant this land reptile, native only to one Galapagos island, seems to be down in single digits in population. Patrick. What is tortoise? Right. Delegates for 800. Delegates to the 1919 Congress of the Communist International included Stalin and this rival, born Lev Bronstein. Patrick. Who is Trotsky? Yes. Delegates for a thousand. The answer there. How many subscriptions are you paying for? Rocket Money finds... We've made a run at Connor's lead and you're within a thousand. I'll make it a true daily double. All right, you will have the lead if correct in delegates. The Duke of Wellington and a Prussian prince were among the delegates to the 1814 to 1815 Congress in this capital. What is Vienna? Congress of Vienna puts you in the lead. You have $6,400. And with that, we're going to head into our first commercial break. Back with more Jeopardy in a moment. editor from Queens. You've had a brush with showbiz before. Tell us about your music career. So I sing with a choir in New York, and a couple of years ago, we were hired to gather into an echoey church, sing a bunch of phony Latin, and that track was then used on a commercial for a German hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get recognized a lot? No, nothing. <laughs> Only among German DIY mm. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Mirage is a music teacher from Lilburn, Georgia. Your students give you a lot of credit, right? What do they believe about you? They do. Every day we sing a hello song, and we sing hello in many, many languages. I know how to say hello in about 25 languages, and my students are all convinced I am fluent in every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope they didn't watch tonight, because you just chattered all their, uh -oh. chattered all their illusions. <laughs> Patrick Curran is a consultant from Washington, D.C. Now, I understand you're a big Cowboys fan, but your late father loved which team? The Buffalo Bills, yes. Okay. And so uh, at his funeral, he died unexpectedly in 2011. Um, I said a few words and uh, tried to keep it light and humorous. He was a funny guy. And I said,
said, I don't know quite what I think about the afterlife, but if the Buffalo Bills beat the New England Patriots tonight, now remember this is 2011, uh, <laughs> then maybe I'll reconsider. Uh, right before I got back on the plane to D.C., uh, I got about a million text messages that the Bills had just had a game-winning field goal to beat the Tom Brady Prime Patriots. <laughs> there you go. Your dad secured a miraculous win for the Buffalo Bills. I love it. You have control of the board, Patrick. Where do we go yeah. next? Uh, delegates for six. Maryland and these two states that split in 1863 don't have a House of Representatives, but a House of Delegates. Patrick. What are Virginia and West Virginia? That's correct. Whites and colors for eight. Seen here is the flag of this country, the largest in Africa. The green is the color of Islam, and the white symbolizes purity. Connor. What is Algeria? You got it. Whites and colors, a thousand. Poland's flag is white on top, red on the bottom. The colors are flipped on the flag of this country and symbolize the Grimaldi family. Connor. What's Indonesia? No. Kelly. What is Monaco? That's correct for a thousand. Whites and colors, 600. This state's white flag has 13 stars in a circle around an anchor and the motto, Hope. Kelly. What is Rhode Island? Yes. Whites and colors, 400. Here's the flag of this British territory. The castle and the key symbolize its strategic importance. Connor. What's Gibraltar? That's right. Whites and colors, too. There are two symbols on this state's blue flag, a white crescent and a white palmetto tree. Connor. What's South Carolina? That's the state. Laundry, a thousand. On a label, the bucket with one line under it means this alliterative setting for clothes that don't need ironing. Connor. What's permanent press? Yes, laundry eight. Concerns of the 1950s included segregation, fear of nuclear war, and itchy, stiff clothes. In 1961, this brand came out to address one. Kelly. What is Woolite? No. Patrick O'Connor? That brand would be Downy, Downy fabric softener. Connor? Uh, laundry six. Backpacking tip. Sinks are everywhere, but dryers can be tough to find, so bring a rope and you'll have one of these. Kelly. What is a clothesline? Yes. Their main musical instrument, 200. John Legend. Connor. Oh, what's the piano? Yes. Uh, species 200. Called a living fossil, the endangered Amani rabbit is found only on two small islands in this country's Ryukyu archipelago. Patrick. What is Japan? Yes. Delegates for four. Apostolic delegates are representatives from this country to church officials in other nations. Patrick. What is Vatican City? Right. Delegates two. This delegate to the Constitutional Convention in 1787 voted against a Bill of Rights, but later drafted the one we know. Patrick. What is Madison? Right. Water day four. Thousands of home fires a year could be prevented by cleaning out this mesh item after each dryer load. Patrick. What is a lint catcher? Yeah, the lint trap is correct. And now the final clue in laundry day. The sodium hypochlorite type of this disinfects as well as whitens, but needs to be diluted before using. Kelly. What is bleach? Bleach is correct, bringing you up to $3,800. You'll select first in double jeopardy when we come back. Stick around. Three contestants are off and running. You love to see it. Here's the double jeopardy round, bringing with it these categories. First, won the battle, lost the war. Then, all the right movies. We have some buildings and bridges. Then, random facts. Solve the mystery title. And finally, as always, remember your phrasing. Kelly, where do we begin? All the right movies, 1,200. Spike Lee broke into the front ranks of Hollywood directors with this 1989 film about racial tensions in Brooklyn. Kelly. What is Do the Right Thing? Yes. All the Right Movies, 1600. It starred Scott Glenn as Alan Shepard, Sam Shepard as Chuck Yeager, and Ed Harris as John Glenn. Kelly. What is The Right Stuff? Correct. All the Right Movies, 2000. Annette Bening, Julianne Moore, and Mark Ruffalo starred in this 2010 comedy about...